Use the creator code SHEPI10 in the Rocket League store. This will help to support my channel and I thank anyone who decides to use it. Now let's get into the video. Welcome back to the channel where we are here with Season 9 of Rocket League. So once we've looked at the competitive rewards that we earned in the last season, we'll have a look at the new Rocket Pass and we can have a look and see which are our new favourite items. So here it is, the Season 8 Bronze Limited Player Banner, which is quite a nice one. It's got, I've just noticed the little bit of, it's, all it does is flash onto the screen and back is the animation that's on the banner. So it's a little bit of a pretty poor banner, to be honest. I thought they were going to do it a little better where they graffiti it on slowly, but by the looks of it, it's just flashing on and off. I mean, anyone could do that, really. They are quite cool banners, though. I have to say, this is probably one of my favourite banners that we've had so far. So there's the gold and platinum. There's the diamond. Again, all with the same animation, just coming from different ways. The animation getting slightly better as you go up the ranks, but not really much of a difference. There's the Grand Champion one, which again is quite a cool one. Unfortunately, we didn't make it to SSL this season, but hopefully in the next season we will, so then we don't have to just end on this Grand Champion banner and we can get this Supersonic Legend rewards as well. So then we have the Season 8 Grand Champion Limited Player title, the Dunk Master player title, and the RNG champ player title. But unfortunately, we did not get the Floor Destroyer drop shot one this season. So next season, we're going to have to work really hard to make sure that we hit GC in drop shot. I'm going to change it to uh, G Road to GCs just so that we can uh, make sure we hit this season. And then hopefully in this season as well, I want to hit SSL in Rumble. We'll have to see how we get on. Then you have the Nike FC 2022 Titanium White. Very rare goal explosion. And an import drop there as well. We should have a new drop opening coming out soon, so make sure to check that out. Now, looking at the map, that is a pretty cool map there by the looks of it already. We're obviously in the snow snow side at the moment, I think, and then it's obviously going to be less snowy on the other side. But we'll take a look into the map closer further on in the video. But firstly, we'll have a look at this new rocket pass. So here's the new car, the Emperor Limited Body. Pretty cool car. It looks just like the Dominus, to be honest, with a little bit of a change of the shape but I'm guessing it's got the same hitbox as the Dominus. I think we read that earlier in that news video that I brought out but we'll get premium straight away and here we go so there we go we've got the Emperor car we'll try that out in the when we have a look at the new map as well so then you have the Emperor shape up limited decal which is quite a cool one just sort of emphasizes the body edges maybe giving it that titanium white sort of look in this case then you have the Volcano Crag Limited Rocket Boost. You've also got the title Crit Hitter down there. Then we have the Dragon the Ice Drake Limited Player Banner. So that looks very similar to one of the Season Rewards Player Banners again. But not the nicest looking. Probably won't use that one. The uh, Boost Boot. That's an interesting name for these wheels as well. Not the nicest of wheels, so probably won't be using that one. The Dusk Apeid Limited Animated Decal. I do quite like that one, actually, to be honest. I'm usually not a massive fan of the animated decals, but this one's one of the better ones by the looks of it. You have the Whiff Wizard Player title. You have the Crispy Turkey on top, so it looks like a very well-cooked or even burnt turkey that you can wear on the top of your car. Then you have the Eshud Limited Paint Finish. Quite an interesting paint finish. I, I don't know whether I like that or not, to be honest. Let me know in the comments what you think of that Eshud Paint Finish. Then you get a drops. Then you've got the Octane Dragon Slayer. Another limited decal, which I probably won't ever use. It's not the nicest of decals. There's definitely better ones out there. So that'll probably just end up going in my garage. Then you obviously get the 100 credits. And the Jet Veins Limited Wheels. Quite a nice pair set of wheels there. The Dominus Razor Wing. That's quite cool. And it's a little bit like Batman. They've sort of taken the Batman sort of theme. But I, I think it's, it is a bat, actually. I, I'm not too sure. But that's a really weird one. Then you have the Skullfire Limited Topper, which is quite a cool topper to be fair, although it does look like the skull's got loads of hair. It looks like a little mane that the skull's got rather than fire. Then you have the Fire Drake Limited Player Banner, again another one of those dragon sort of banners, they've just copied that from a previous season. The Emperor Broom Decal, that's quite a nice decal as well. Probably prefer the one with the edges that are whitened. 50-50 Magician, that should be me, I'm very good at the 50-50s, I'm like the fire burner of Rocket League. Then we have the Sharp Storm Limited Animated Decal. A little bit like 
sort of, I don't even have to, it's like scales on a crocodile or something, that's quite a weird decal again. The limited wheels. So that's the Awakening player anthem there. So that's quite a, a cool player anthem, to be honest. They've got a new artist, the Phil Boucher. don't think I've seen him do one before. So that's a pretty cool little song there to go with it for a player anthem when you score. Then you have the Elemental Limited Trail. That one's all right. And there's a Kumi a Dolphino. Never used a Takumi, so we'll skip over that one. The Thermometer. That's quite a cool little, <laughs> little addition on the top there. It's quite subtle compared to some of them, which are really obvious. It's quite a weird one as well, to be honest. It's a floppy thermometer. Then you have the icy axe. Again, just a little one on there. Makes it a little bit uglier, the car, I think, with that on the end. Then you've got the Vesky limited wheels. They're quite cool wheels again. The limited avatar border. That one's all right. Still nothing special. Iced limited animated decal. That's quite cool. It sort of almost reflects off the car. I hope that when you drive around the edge with that, it reflects. That'd be pretty cool uh, decal. But again, one that I probably won't use. Lunchbox, <laughs> interesting one. I don't know how many people will use that. I think it's got the Vespa on the on the, uh, the actual box up there, and the Neo Tokyo on the back. And you've got the Piercer, the limited wheels. That's quite cool, to be fair. I do quite like those wheels. That'll go really well with the Ripper, to be fair. Then the Emperor Ombre limited decal, very similar to the other one. Then you've got the Chris. Cry cryo cryo stream i don't even know how you say that cryo stream i think it is or creo stream that's just like uh, shooting ice shards everywhere again not the best of her uh, boosts you've got the yokel then you have the frosty skull i have to say which what does everyone prefer the frosty skull or the lava skull let me know it down in the comment section and the devcon limited wheels they're quite cool quite basic probably get the colors to fit fit that one and then the Elemental Limited Time Goal Explosion. That's a pretty cool goal explosion, to be fair. I do quite like that one. So as it explodes, you've got the fire versus ice, and then it smashes in the middle. I do quite like that one. Then you've got the Dungeon Master title. The Breakout. I don't use that. The Frostbitten title as well down there. The Artifice Limited Wheels. Again, nothing special on those. The Thawed Limited Animated Decal. Mm, it's not the best looking and I don't like that it all moves backwards slowly. That's, I don't really like that one. The Scorched Scimitar, Scimitar? Scimitar? I don't even know how you say that word, but it's that uh, lava sword basically. Again, something that's just on the end and probably makes the car look worse once you've equipped it. Then you've got the Piercer Crystallized Limited Wheels, so that's quite cool. You could probably make the colours work there well with the blue car. The Tickle Tomato the Limited Topper. That's quite a funny little uh, tomato that sits on the top of the car. I definitely have to use that at some stage. And then you have the Dragon's Breath Limited Avatar Border, which is purple. It's quite a cool little one. You could probably make it work with a better banner. And the Constella Limited Limited Animated Decal. That's weird that they brought that one in. That's like from the space back in seasons ago, the space the decal. That's really strange they brought that one back out here. They may have had that one saved up in a bank of all the decals they didn't use and thought, oh, you know what, let's bring it out this season so we don't have to think of as many. Then the Elemental Limited Wheels. They're not the nicest looking, let's be honest, but that's the Fire and Ice, half and half. Not the best looking. So that's the Gamblione. So that's another limited player anthem, which is by 2TS this time. Again, quite a cool little tune to go, but it doesn't really go with the goal. Let's be honest, when you score, you don't want to just hear this. It's not the best of songs for a uh, anthem. Then you've got the Yoki wheels as well. They're quite cool. They're quite funny as well. The Yoki wheels with the tomato on top. That'd be quite an interesting combination. The Glacier limited paint finish. That's quite a cool little paint finish. Again, very reflective. It's, it looks a little bit like leather. It's all, you no, know, what's it called? Um, sort of snake skin. It's a quite a strange one again that they've added. But it doesn't really look too much like a glacier, let's be honest. Then they've got the Vesky inverted limited wheels. They're all right. They're quite nice with the little flash. I, I wish you could change the color of the flash though, because that's the awkward colors, green and orange. Not the nicest of colors to use on the cars. Then the Dragon Claw limited avatar border. Again, quite a nice one. 
it's a little bit too I don't know there's something odd with it it sort of covers a part of the border be it your actual avatar so I'm not too sure whether too many people will use that one then the splitter limited animated decal that's quite a cool one but they basically just made the line in the center and animated it <laughs> there's already a decal with that line in the middle but they've just put a little animation onto it instead and you've got the forerunner limited wheels they're all right those wheels again weird colors orange i'd rather them be blue white but i suppose you can get them painted probably as you get further on the tiers the emperor huntress limited decal again would work very well if it wasn't on the emperor i think that would work quite well on something like the uh vector or something something different then the thorough flame that's quite an interesting one it's sort of similar to the skull but it's just the flame this time we've got the lit match again something that just makes the car look worse but it's quite a cool on that one uh, just on the end of the car you have the matte book limited paint finish not the nicest of paint finishes i have to say there's definitely nicer ones out there and you have the dark well limited wheels so again it's not really taking much of the lava ice theme some of this stuff they could have definitely improved it this is more space it's like a black hole in this one so it's a bit strange they've got a few things that are space related as well and you've got the octane flame tress that's a quite a cool one to be fair i do quite like that one it goes quite well with the car as well the white octane if i had the white octane on it would suit suit that one definitely then another space themed limited animated decal am i missing something here is there should there be some space theme that i'm completely missing i don't know why they're introducing loads more space stuff in the lava versus ice uh, season then you have the forerunner roasted limited wheels again it's got a little bit of the flame sort of theme but not really that ice and fire themed then you have the dragon rider limited player title interesting one there and you have the Elemental Limited Rocket Boost. I have to say, they could have done a lot better with some of these things. That one's quite cool at the, at the back end. But just looking at that, it looks a little bit too animated. The, the actual bit that it comes out from, that's quite a strange one. And you have the Boost Boot Inverted limit, Limited Wheels. Quite a cool one again. And the Emperor 2 Limited Body at Tier 20. And then everything is painted from there but let me know what you think of this rocket pass i have to say i'm not that impressed there's been a few good items but they've definitely had better items in the past and it's weird that they've not really stuck to the fire ice theme like i thought they would but the the new car is quite cool i do quite like the like the look of the new car but it's probably got the same hitbox as dominus can someone confirm that down in the comments as well so after doing those 70 tiers i swear there was a new goal explosions the fire and the uh, ice one but it looks like the rest is just painted stuff. Oh, that's quite a cool little saffron. It's almost like tit uh, titanium, a gold. It's almost like alpha boost, that, the limited rocket boost. That's quite a cool one. And then the Emperor Scorch. So there you go, they're implementing some flames onto the car there. I just can't seem to find it at all. Another space theme Constella. Oh, is this it? Here it is. It's Brimstone now, that. That is the best goal explosion they've had on the game, hands down. The Frozen one, I think, is better, so hopefully that one will come up soon. But look at how cool that goal explosion is. That is insane. So there must be the Ice Age one somewhere. I can't find it, so it must be past 100 tiers, but unfortunately I'm not rich enough to uh, buy through all the tiers like other YouTubers are. <laughs> but hopefully we should earn that soon. And now we'll have a quick look at the shop and see if there's anything new in there as well. So looking at the item shop, there's not really anything new. The featured shop's just got stuff from previous things. It's got the pink octane. So if you want that pink octane, remember to do that. And also don't forget to support a creator code at Sheppy10 to help support my channel. And then they have it introduced a season eight elite pack, which has the Mamba. It's a crimson Mamba. Don't know, don't think many people use that car to be honest. I don't think I've ever seen it in a game. And you've got the Troika roasted wheels, the Streamline Black Market decal, which is quite a cool Black Market anim animated decal, to be honest. I do quite like that one. You've got the Cobalt Goal Explosion, which is a Season 8 Elite Pack Shade Raid, which I do quite like that uh, Goal Explosion, to be fair. I don't think I've seen that one used before. Maybe I have. I'm not too sure. And then finally, the Righteous Gale Boost. So 
good set of items in that pack to be honest unfortunately the car could have been better they could have picked a nicer car because i don't think i've seen anyone use that one in ranked but we'll have a look now at the new map and the new car in action and here we go so we're looking into the new forbidden temple fire and ice map and here it is with the new car as well not nice of decals i put on there i think i put biomass the black market decal on this car but it is quite a cool little map it's got the snow side you can see on the floor here and then the lava side on this side with a few little thing additions to the floor i think it's burning grass there by the looks of it and then frost on the other side but this car does feel quite um quite nifty car i think it'd be quite good for aerials and stuff i do quite like the look of the car but i'll have a look quickly around the map now so taking a look at the map then you've got the uh, temple over there by the looks of it with the snow side on this side it's got quite a cool few little mountains you can see the dragon up there just waiting in that corner i think there's the other dragons probably in the other corner i'm not too sure where the fire dragon is actually in this map but it's quite an interesting one it's got a few little additions around the side i think really all they've done is shoved a load of snow on top of forbidden temple and that was about it to be honest they've got the uh lion statue there i quite like the way they've interlocked it in the middle of the, the blue and the red i do quite like this map to be honest it is quite a cool looking map and it's not too bright which is good news because usually the sort of snowy and sunny maps are always too bright so you basically have to wear sunglasses whilst you play but in this case it's not too bad which is good and now we'll move over to the lava side then so a sort of like a weird little crack up there in the roof which could be leading on to the next season because that's what they sort of do in fortnite and that could be why there's a few things that are space themed. I'm not too sure though. Let me know what you think in the comments for that. Then you've also got the other temples here. You've got the lava around the outside. And there's the other dragon up there. Just praying on the uh, ice dragon. What would win? Fire or ice? Let me know in the comments. And then also there's the little bridge over the goal. And then the other side is very similar to side we just looked at yes just all lava a little bit of a lava waterfall over there and then you've got the ice glacier on the other side but let me know what you think of this update down in the comments and also let me know what you would want to see more of this season in my videos because i always like to get some feedback at the start of the season on which mode you want to see more of what sort of videos you want to see more of if you want to see other games so do let me know down in that comment section below and also a quick shout out to the person who's been asking for a shout out for ages so there you go, the person you finally got your shout out. I remember to shout you out. Uh, this season we're going to be playing a little bit more drop shot than we did in the previous season because we didn't play much in the last season, which meant that we didn't actually even end up getting to GC. So this season is going to be the season where we make sure to get to GC and get SSL in Rumble as well. That is the aim, SSL in at least one mode this season. We'll try and get it before 2023, but I highly doubt we'll be able to get there. But let me know in the comments what you want to see more of, like I said earlier, and I will see you all in the next one.